you're welcome once again to a new video and of course in today's video we are going to bring you an exclusive update on the ongoing trial of the former Bafana Bafana goalkeeper Senzo Meiwa. Well in a shocking turn of events Boganin Tanzi who happens to be the second accused in the murder trial made a startling claim in court accusing the lead investigator, Brigadier Bongani Jininda, of offering him a, sta a staggering 3 million rands bribe to lie and collaborate with the police during the investigation. Hmm, this is getting pretty interesting. Well, I don't know about you all, but this is something that has actually sparked so many reactions online. Many people want to understand that maybe something fishy could be going on. But of course, let's actually watch to the end. Maybe we'll get to find out more reasons to think that way or maybe think otherwise. Well, this revelation has added another layer of complexity to the already controversial case. Well, join us as we delve into the details of this courtroom drama and of course explore the conflicting narratives surrounding the investigation into Meiwa's tragic death. Well, do not forget to subscribe and please do turn on the bell notification button so you can be the first to be notified. And if you find the video interesting, informative or educating, Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up because that's really going to help us. Well, let's talk about a trial within a trial. Well, the North Gotham High Court in Pretoria is currently conducting a trial within a trial to determine the admissibility of Boganin Tanzi's confession statement, which the state claims that was made on, the, on June 24, 2020. Well, Ntanzi, alongside Sibiya, one of the five accused individuals asserts that they were coerced into confessing to the murder through severe assault. Ntanzi took the stand and vehemently denied confessing to the crime. Instead, he shocked the courtroom by accusing Brigadier Bongani Jininda of offering him a bribe of 3 million rands after growing frustrated with his refusal to implicate himself or anyone in Meiwa's murder. Well, during his testimony, Intanzi detailed the encounter with Jininda, claiming that the lead investigator asked him if he wanted money and offered him 3 million rands. Intanzi, who maintained that he did not need money as he was employed, refused the bribe. He further stated that Jininda's offer came after the investigator's frustration with his lack of cooperation. However, Jininda firmly denied the allegations, stating that offering a bribe was untrue and categorically denying having a budget of 3 million rands for such purposes. While adding another layer to the controversy, Ntanzi disputed the representation of attorney Dominic Ntokozo during his appearance in the Boxberg Magistrate Court. Ntanzi claimed that Miyoko approached him falsely, stating that his older sister had contacted him and that he was there to assist him. Ntanzi alleged that Miyajako wanted him to confess to murder, which led to the termination of their professional relationship. However, Jininda contradicted Ntanzi's claim, asserting that Mjayako had withdrawn his services due to non-payment and that he had never met Mjiyako during his time in the police force. Believe me, I feel like something very fishy is going on here and maybe at the end of this particular case, there are so many people in government places that are going to be arrested, maybe because of misconduct, maybe because of assault and maybe because of lies. I mean, if you have to misguide the high court, then I think that's actually an offense. Well, let's talk about the tragic death of Senzo Meiwa because this is a most asked question. So if you're out there and you're somehow lost in this particular story, then of course this particular little uh, uh, part of the video should enlighten you a little and of course make you know exactly what could be going on. Well, uh, to talk about this particular man, uh, the tragic death of Senzo Meiwa actually took place on October to a 26th 
2014 where Meiwa was actually brought down. I mean, this is one of the most difficult things that I've even had to like witness because this man did nothing wrong. I mean, from the eyes of the law, not the fact that he was actually cheating. So like Aya said, it actually happened on October 26, 2014, where Meiwa was actually brought down while visiting his girlfriend singer kelly kumalo at her home in Vosloros. well his untimely demise actually sent shock waves throughout the nation and the pursuit of justice has been a long and arduous journey well i don't know about you all but i strongly feel like the courtroom is actually like gripped with so much controversy right now that they can't even afford to make a single mistake. I mean, there are so many names that have been dragged into this particular case. And that's why I earlier told you that before this case all goes down, believe me, so many people will get arrested. Not just the victims, not just the suspects, but I'm talking about normal people and even some police officers. Well, leave your thoughts in the comment section if you have any contribution to make or if you have anything to share that's gonna actually help out. Thank you so much. Stay tuned and stay glued.